great thing about this story, one, th one, thing, one thing that I take pleasure in, is that you don't have to take my word or anyone else's word. You can watch the tape again and again and again and see what Mitt Romney's saying. And in those remarks, he shows, I think you can only call it contempt or disdain for 47 percent of the public. He, he doesn't just say, you know, there's an issue here that they don't make enough money to pay taxes and I got to lift their incomes. That's what I'm in this race for. He calls them moochers, parasites, people who do not take personal responsibility for their own lives. He also conflates a couple of different subsets. There are the 47 percent of people who voted for uh, uh, of the electorate that voted for Obama. He lumps them all together into this parasitic victim class. He then says there are 47 percent of people who don't pay taxes. That's sort of a different subset, but he's lumping them all together. And then he says there are people who get benefits. You know, he doesn't say 47 percent, but again, lumping them together, including people who get Medicare, Medicaid, welfare uh, assistance from the Veterans Administration. Uh, uh, perhaps even, you know, farm subsidies and corporate welfare. So he's basically creating this cast for the election in which the, you know, the, the politics is divided between those of us in this room, strivers, people who have made what we've made, you know, purely on our own initiative, and the rest of the, you know, of America who are moochers who want to basically be parasites living off us. There is really no other way to see that tape. It just shows this disdain for you know, for all of them, you know, for half of America, when he claims to, to, to want to be president for all of America. And yet, you know, he's coming out of this. He has to say something. He can't say, yeah, that's what I meant. So he's saying, well, I was concerned about the level of entitlements and about people not making enough money. But it's pretty clear. I mean, he wouldn't still be explaining three days out if the tape didn't really show the real Romney.